Hey guys, it's the Slimy Dog here with another episode of Pokemon Black 2. So I know it's been a while, but um, I'm back, and I'm sorry that I couldn't record any videos, but I have a Christmas vacation and a life to um live, and that's why I couldn't really record anything. I probably won't record anything for a while since I have a lot of other stuff to do, like uh, like study for my unit tests and then study for my pre-boards and then study for my board exam so you know I have a lot of stuff going on in these three months but after that I have a summer vacation which I can upload hopefully daily I mean I tried doing that last year but that didn't work out because you know I wasn't really as uh, as good as I used as good as I am now but I am better now and hopefully hopefully that will help me out with my endeavors uh johnson you got all the badges you're really something usually you go to the pokemon league now but dealing with team plasma comes first sup yo what's this team plasma you talking about do does things like steal my sister's i mean people's pokemon they plan on conquering unova by using pokemon to freeze its sword you know something i don't understand um Marlon, he went swimming, like, in the northern direction, and he came back to us in the southern direction, so what is he, like, did he just swim around the entire globe or something? Which is pretty freaking awesome, I really do admit. Um, anyways, freeze it solid, they're really evil. Have you heard of them, Marlon? Nope, when the ocean's your home, you don't have to worry about things like that, because the ocean accepts all ris river rivers. So you think the Team Plasma is bad then? Of course they're bad, I mean, seriously, what the hell? I get it, they're bad so you fight them. First you gotta say that in your own words. When you do, you'll understand better what you wanna do, and what you're hoping for. Well then, and he just walks away like, oh, you know, bad guys terrorizing the world, I, I don't really care, you know, freeze, freeze the world, but don't freeze my rivers or ocean, I, I don't care, really. Uh... Man, I don't know if that guy's just laid back or irresponsible. That kind of got me down. But our opponent is Team Plasma. We gotta focus. But before we do that, we have to find where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You go check Route 22, okay? Got it? So, yes, I do have the understanding of where we're supposed to go. Um, But I do not know how to get there. I did a little... um By a little walk before this type of... I basically played through the game before this a little, and I saw that Route 22 was somewhere to this side, but I have no idea how to get there, never mind. I really don't know how I do stuff like that. I mean, I'm like, oh, you know, I don't I don't know how to do this, and then suddenly I figured out how to do it. And I hope I healed up my Pokemon, because if I didn't heal up my Pokemon, then I'll have to heal up my Pokemon. And I probably didn't heal up my Pokemon. Did I heal up my Pokemon? Well, it's only Slimy. I mean, Slimy... Slimy's the only one who needs healing up if any healing up is needed. And he isn't healed up, but that doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm just gonna Giga Drain you anyways and heal up my Pokemon. But then again, um... That heals the HP, but how do I heal up the PP? I like that word, PP. Uh, damn it, not a Swift... That's a pretty swift swift you did there. And I'm probably gonna Giga Drain one more time, heal up full. And that's... That's a game. Nope, that's not a game, because we still got one more guy to defeat. Um, And that will be a Drapion. I think that is a Bug-type Pokemon, so that means Devastator's going out. Devastator, let's see what you can do. Devastator's coming out. We're sending out a Drapion. Okay. Looks like the only thing we can do right now is use a Fire Punch to take out this Drapion, and you know, that that should be about it, you know? Fire Punch to the face, and that's the end of everything that ever happened to- Whoa! Why didn't that do any damage? Lava Plume? Hopefully that doesn't damage. Um, why? Why doesn't it do any damage? I do not know. I really don't. Uh, burn, please do something. Please, aw, oh, damn it. Uh, I'm just gonna switch out and stall for like a second, I guess. Um, uh, best Pokemon to stall with this guy. Uh, we got Dark Knight sent out, that's a Crobat. 
anything he uses won't do anything to us unless he uses a Night Slash, which will obviously do... Uh, how much damage does it do? I don't remember, but didn't do much damage, and there we go. Won the, won the fight. Won the battle. With Burn. Um... How do I get there? I do not know, but, um... First, let's use a repel, because repels are things that we like using when we go into the wild. And, uh, where, where was that? Revabla, it's over here. Uh, max repel. Yes, I will use a max repel. And hopefully I won't have to use any, um, anything that is not a max repel. Where, where am I going? Uh, nope, not there. I'm actually going here. And she doesn't look at me. I can just go quickly battle this fungus, which I totally wanted to do. Oh, not a fungus, it's a moongus. And it's level 47. That's, uh. That's pretty strong, but not as strong as my slimy, which will hopefully get away. Yep, it got away. Okay, so there's a tip. If you whoa, we see a Pokemon there. The one radiating such a tremendous presence before you is none other than the Terrakion. Oh, looks like it's a uh, a Chroma. Oh wait, Colrus. Ah, Chroma. I'm just gonna call him a Chroma because a Chroma is much cooler. It's been a long time. Terrakion is one of the three Pokemon who protect Pokemon. What? Protected Pokemon from the flames of. Human conflict. It seems likely that the Terrakionis picked up the sense of danger that em emanates from Team Plasma. It's probably seeking a Pokemon trainer who has the strength to stand up to them. It's very interesting indeed that Terrakion appeared before you. That aside, do you plan to confront Team Plasma? Yeah, of course, I mean, seriously. I see. If that's the case, you must have the power to protect your own Pokey. Pokey, whatever. Being protected by Pokemon alone does not make you a trainer. It's because trainers are strong, because they care about Pokemon, that these Pokemon can also be strong. Here, this is from me. And we get a Chorus machine. It's a prototype of my device that energizes Pokemon. It doesn't work on battling Pokemon, but you might find it useful for something. Hmm. Seaside Cave Route 21. Okay, let's remember that, guys. Okay, Seaside Cave Route 21. Don't forget that, because that's pretty important. And I just jumped off of that. Which I did not mean to do, actually. I meant to not jump off of it. Which is pretty obvious. I mean, who would want to jump off of a cliff that... Yes, I made it. Where did I make it to? I actually got pretty far. That was that was a smart move by me. Am I going to take that Pokeball? Probably not. And here we have a hiker to battle. Are you dangerous, Pokemon trainer? Um, no, I'm not dangerous. I'm just gonna kick your butt. Um, swine up. That, in fact, is a dangerous Pokemon. Um, what can I use on it? I really don't have anything to use except for Lucario, which I don't. I went to the bag. Lucario, that was, uh, that was bad. Leonardo. Um, flail. Yes, you can flail as much as you want, but you are not gonna be able to beat my force bomb of justice um yep there we go swine up taken out uh darmani 10 would you like to switch pokemon um nah i have bone rush i'll just use bone rush on this guy it's bone rush time and he uses belly drum he's probably a zen whatever the Zen kind of Darmanitan, the Zen mode one, but we will never find out because uh, because it died in two hits because Leonardo's awesome. Um, 
there we go, we're leveling up, leveling up quite a bit, and I can barely talk today, can I? Um, am I gonna explore the route? Of course not. Oh uh, yeah, we might as well, cause we're going into this cave. Giant chasm. Oh my god, guys, it's the. Oh my god, it's, it's Team Plasma. We must stop them. How long does wait until everyone else arrives mean exactly? This area past here is important. The people headed to Route 21 are definitely important. But we have an important role as well. Okay. So now we have to find out what Route 21 is. So, uh... Take a quick look at our Pokemons. Dark Knight, we're going to need to not summarize you. We're going to need to fly on you. Ledges and everything, that's Route 23, and Route 21 is south of uh, Himalau ta Town. I Can I? Yeah, I can fly. Okay, good. So, um... Wait a second. Yeah, I think I have to surf to get there. Please tell me I have to surf. I don't want to have not necessarily surfed yep we don't we do have to surf so I'm satisfied I'm happily satisfied um mm, probably should have healed up my Pokemon uh, screw it I don't feel like healing up um catch this my Pokemon is huge okay actually I am going to heal up after this battle one thing that I never understood about Pokemon is how the hell do Waylords, Waylords fit inside of, uh, whatever they fit inside. I mean, really, how do they fit inside a Pokeball? How do they fit inside the sea? I mean, really, how do they fit? I mean, you can surf in a tiny pond in, uh, what's that town called? The town where the, Le La Lenora, Lenora's gym used to be. You can surf in the pond to the right, left of that town, with the Waylord. How can you seriously do that? And, you can surf with the Pokemon that you're battling with. Like, you can have a, uh, Oshawott using Surf, at the same time, um, at the same time, that Oshawott could be battling someone. So it's just, it's just weird. If you ask me. And then we have the fellow metal person. I, you know, I kind of gave up on metals because, really, did, did, if you go to that metal guy, he, he's just going to give you a ton of metals if you forget about it. And I, I don't really want to look at that. That, you know, it's going to be a waste of time. So, hopefully in this episode, we at least cross half of Route, uh, Route 21, uh, what, yeah, I do want to, there we go, um, we're surfing down on this road of surfs, and I could have just went around that guy, but I didn't, because I am really stupid, and why am I singing this song, um, I don't know, I don't know why I'm singing this song, it's, it's probably because I'm an amazing singer, an amazing singer, really, oh man, I'm, I'm tired, actually. I'm very tired. You see, I have a Christmas Christmas break, and our school thinks that Christmas vacations are the perfect time to load, like, 10,000 pieces of homework onto us. So, I have a math worksheet with, uh, like, 20, you know, 20, 20 plus 50 questions, yeah, around around 70 questions to finish then I have four worksheets in science a history project a civics project and uh, that's that's just what I remember I think there's something in French and probably something in English and whatever there's there's like five projects for me to do along with all those worksheets it's just a lot of work and you know what do I do I sit and make, uh... Oh, come on! No, no, no! There we go, like a boss. Avoiding that! <laughs> Why? Am I stuck here now? I better not be stuck here. 
No, the, they wouldn't have made that glitch. And this is a Pokemon game. There are no glitches. If there is a glitch, it's not a glitch. That's just... That's all there is to say. If there's a glitch, it's not a glitch. Um... Don't know why I used Giga Drain there when I could have just used, uh... Whatever, but it was a critical hit, and that's all that matters in the end. Um... Ring out. Uh, let's see what that does. I will forget a move. I will find out what this does. It... The user powerfully rings the target. The more HP the target has, the greater the attack's power. Uh, it's a special, but normal type move. Um... Uh, let's check Slam. Slam has... I'll probably just forget Slam. I don't use it much. And Ring Out seems like a pretty interesting move. Considering that it has much better accuracy. Um, so let's just try it out right now. Um, Ring Out on this guy. And whoa. That looks good. That's a good move. I like that. Um... That's pretty useful on Pokemon which have lots of HP like um uh, What what Pokemon have lots of health points? Um nope, I will not use Uh there is a doctor here and okay, so that will be the end of this episode, guys. I'm just going to battle this doctor and that heal up my Pokemon and uh, that'll be the end of this episode. So um yeah, we have an Aloma Loma. Uh, yeah, this guy has a lot of H HP, so let me just demonstrate how Ring Out does damage. I mean, this guy has lots of HP, so Ring Out will obviously do a lot of damage. Or not. Um, yeah, it didn't do much. What? I was transformed to Water type. That means that this no longer has Stab, but you know what? I don't care. Stab is for people who don't know how to use moves and he uses whatever that move is I don't like that move and he uses a hyper potion um this is starting to be a little annoying it's funny how my last battles I was like okay let me just end off the episode here and I'm like okay just one more battle uh it shouldn't be much you know just just a little more time but nope I just has to this has to take 10 hours to finish. So yeah, there we go guys. That's the end of this battle, which means it's close to the end of the episode. First, I just need to make my outro, which is by saying that this is the end of the episode. And um, and replenishing our Pokemon's health and listening to that beautiful sound. Okay, um, yeah, so anyways guys, this is the end of this episode. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is the Slimy Dog signing off. Goodbye. See you later. Probably in a week or something. Hopefully. So yeah, anyways, goodbye guys.